now I'm going to show you this brand new watercolor encaustic technique I just did last weekend. It's so beautiful, I have to share it with everybody. You take this gorgeous touche paper, it has a wonderful finish, and put it into your embossing folder. Put it between two plates, and I'm going to run it backwards and forwards so that it's really well embossed, and it takes it so nicely. And I'll get both the frontwards and backwards, and you'll see how nice this looks. Then you set aside your cuddle bug stuff, and you can see there's a nice texture to this. What I'm going to do is take a piece of uh, cut and dry and add some of this duo embellishing adhesive to it real quickly. And you load this, and then this becomes a stamp pad. Now this is a stamp pad. I'm going to gently kiss the surface of the touche paper. And you have to let this dry because we have a little saying, when it's white, it's not right. When it's clear, it adheres. So you want this duo adhesive to turn clear. And it's almost clear now. So just wave it a little bit. I can still see some wet spots. Okay, and I'm going to add some gilding. Use my texture sponge to get it off. Little on, little off. Save all your extras. And by itself, that is absolutely beautiful. So if you didn't do anything else, that's gorgeous. But we're going to do something else because we want to make this an encaustic. And this is where you bring in your gorgeous watercolors. And these are mica-based watercolors. And you want to make it wet, but not drippy. So I'm going to use both the Interference and the Stargazer palette because they look great on black. But you can use the white touche paper to do this same technique. And you can see how gorgeous these colors look. Just slather them on top. And like I said, wet but not drippy. So no big puddles. Cover the whole thing. This is studio paper. And studio paper is 40 pounds of wax on both sides. And I've cut it up into quarters so that I don't just use the whole sheet. So I just want to show you. Lay it right on top. And then you can use almost any other kind of paper just to protect your iron from the wax so it doesn't burn. And you just iron it with a medium hot iron. And what you're doing is you're forcing the wax into the watercolor so it becomes an encaustic paint. And the beauty of this is that it's non-toxic because uh, you're just dealing with watercolor. Now most of the wax is gone, so I'll just give it a little press. And it resists against the gilding. And look at this. Isn't that absolutely spectacular? I hope you've enjoyed it. This is called Watercolor Encaustics.